So hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about how to update products attribute uh, using put cards item card base API. So most of the time we have a requirement. Let's say for an example, I'm having one of the card. This is my demo product and I'm having one of the products attribute is this. I wanted to update using my Omni script or using my integration procedure. So I wanted to update the, these products attribute using uh, card base API. So to achieve that, first we need to understand what Salesforce industry document says. Salesforce industry document says that you need to call this API using this uh, JSON payload. The request body format will be this. The method will be put or you can call, call directly using the integration procedure. The main uh, input will be card ID and the items and the will, input will be the item JSON. Then what is this item JSON? There is no particular information being provided for this item JSON. So they said that in the request item JSON is an actual JSON record that is being updated. The JSON request provided by the response to an add item or get item card API. So let's first understand what is coming from the get card item and what we need to pass from that get card items to this update items in the card. So I will go to my integration procedure. We have to check older video uh, for that how, how we are doing the get card item API request. So we will go back. This is my integration procedure. This is get card item API. This is uh, method. I'm just uh, taking the response of the get card item from the send JSON path, we will review that what is, is given by the get card API. So we are executing this thing. Now we will take this outcome. We will go to some JSON beautifier. Now we need to understand there are so many things are coming from the response of this get card api the most of the time attribute category product category and the different fields like your fulfillment status your first version uh, order item date so there are so many fields are getting returned by the get card item now what we need to send we need to update its attribute so what we are going to say that there is a records it's having product attribute and the selected value of the user Let's say this is selecting as a 100 Mbps. So this value, we have to update out of these values. So these values are the values, one value. So I'll go back again to my, this, if I'll configure here, see these are the different value, 100, 200 M Mbps. So these values are coming in your, this thing, 200, this is the value, this is this value. And this is the user value which we has been selected. So this value we have to pass and we have to update this value. So what are the different input required for updating such thing? So we'll go back again. So response of the get cardam API is very important, which will be input to put card item. So what we have to do, this will be the exact payload for your put cart item. Put cart item payload. We need to pass response of get cart item attribute categories. So if I'll go back, this, this entire thing you have to pass and whatever the value you wanted to update, you will pass that value in the user value. So let's go back. These are the different value root item ID, line number and CMT action ID and ID. These are the parameter you will take from your get cut item payload. And these value you have to pass here in this. And there's a way you will pass this input to your integration procedure and put cut item start working. So let's go to our integration procedure. We'll take one remote action. We'll put the name update ID. 
attribute remote class will be cpq app handler method will be remote method will be put cards item we'll put the remote method now input will be card id that we will be using card id okay now we will go to edit json yeah under this what we will do under this as per the documentation we have to put as items items under that items we have to put the item json and the item json we have to start from this records this under this record we have to have attribute category and the rest of the value which i have explained here in this one this root item id line numbers and actions so let's go back again i have prepared already that thing so this is under item i have to copy this thing here records under attribute category and rest of the details so this entire json payload i have copied from here okay now we have to put some user value here okay so right now we will see what is the value there we'll add it per json we'll do our product this is 100 mbps we'll put 50 mbps for now so we will go back to our integration we'll click on added json we'll click here user value as a 50 mbps Added property now let's run this thing we'll go to preview we'll click on execute we'll go back this is done this is responses from older values so we'll go to our this the value was 100 g we will refresh it so i'm just refreshing this record Oh, configure see the 50 mbps has been done so the important point is cart id under items we have to send records then the attribute category which will be the response and again from that get cart item you can take the root id line number and action and id these value you have to send it in the put cart item then only you can update the attribute